We are in the Gold Coast at South Stradbrook Island, anchored across from Runaway Bay. This week, we explore South Stradi, give Yabby a go, and we put up a ceiling. All right, good morning, guys. Today, we're going to head across to the beach, um, and then we're going to try to find a path to the ocean side and check out the ocean and all the waves. Yeah, so, so far, we've, we've made it to cross the beach to some very comfy lounge chairs <laughs> and uh, found the rubbish bins, but we haven't done really a good explore um, of South Stratty. So we're going to go and go for a bit of a hike and check the whole thing out. You can see Charlie's here. She's got Tiggy in the purse all ready to go. <laughs> you ready to go? So we've come across a few really awesome houses as we've been walking along, but I just wanted to share this one with you guys because I absolutely love the fence that they have over there. <laughs> it's all made out of old surfboards. It's an outside shower that's there, and we're really close to a real awesome surf surfing place, which is just down over the other side here. So really close. It's amazing. There's some beautiful spots like this still around in Australia where you you're quiet, you're off the beaten track, you're so close to something so awesome. As we were walking along with our mission to try and find the beach on the seaward side, enjoying this great scenery, we came across one of the locals in this four wheel drive and he kindly offered us a lift right down to the southern tip of the island where the Gold Coast Seaway was. So the adventure began. One of the problems that we have with most of the seaways in Australia is that they get silted up. So what we have here down on the Gold Coast, you can see that wharf there. It all has individual pipes on it. There are pumps and what the pumps do at the end here is they suck all the water and stop the sand from silting up. And then it gets pumped ashore Underneath the seaway, we come round to the other side here, and just there on the other side, you can see the pipe coming out of the sand there. So there, that's where all of the sand gets put. So it gets sucked from one side and pumped out and silted up there. That way, it stops. this seaway from getting all clogged up. Here's a better view of that end I was pointing out before. We're off Yavin. Ah, the great Yavi hunt. So, haven't been Yavi hunted before, it's going to be our first time. Uh, fingers crossed, we'll see how we go. I've YouTubed it, <laughs> hopefully it'll work out for us. Excited? Yeah! So we're gonna head over there to the sandbanks and go yabbing. Yeah! That's our first one! What is oh, it? Well done, honey. I just hear one. Yabby! So it turns out that Kate <laughs> is a yabby pump demon. So. I don't know if you can see them all in there, but she's caught heaps. So tell us, how do you do it? What's the trick? You find the little holes like this, and um, 
I've just been finding the ones with the big mounds and then just sort of going at it and putting like two or three pumps into it and there's normally a yabby at the bottom of it. This is our haul of yabbies. We're pretty proud of it for the first time yabbing. And then we've been told that the best time to go fishing is an hour before high tide. So we're getting up to it right now. So we're gonna be baiting up the hooks with the yabbies and hopefully we'll turn these guys into fish. Hopefully lots of fish. <laughs> it's freezing. <laughs> we're pretty proud of this. Round two of fishing with the yabbies. Charlie's got the bucket of the yabbies there. We didn't catch anything last high tide, but we're gonna give it a go again. Yeah, the yabbies, we're gonna get fish. Turn them into fish. <laughs> Unfortunately, we didn't catch any fish with the yabbies this time either, but we are determined to become better fishermen and we will be practicing much more. Do you want to show people where you've been sleeping? Where have you been sleeping? In here! With Tiggy! Bye! Bye! So Charlie's been sleeping in her porta cot just inside the door up in the saloon. And um, which isn't the most ideal place. You can see that the nav desk is here with all the electronics. And <laughs> Sam hasn't been pleased a few times. Um, the lights have flickered on and off or just shut off completely. And um, Charlie's been playing with the switchboard. So this isn't the most ideal. And the other thing is, um, Along here you can see all these are broken. This cord used to run around here. We're not sure when this was broken, but it definitely wasn't broken when we moved on. So she's in the middle here in the saloon. And um, she is here until we can get her room ready for her, which is down here. And this is Charlie's room. So it's the back cabin and she isn't in here at the moment for two reasons. Uh, one is the ceiling, the foam on the ceiling. And the other reason is because of the exposed wiring that you can see here and up here. So once we get the ceiling on, Charlie can go in here and have her own room. We found insulation panels in the dumpster outside Runaway Bay Shopping Center. The panels are in large sections, super lightweight and free. So we grabbed them all. I know it's a bit too much for the patch job we want to do on the roof, but if we don't use them all, we'll bring the remaining back. So Charlie's room is all done and Charlie and Sam are in there right now so let's go check it out. Hello you two! Hello! So her room's all done. These two are having a blast. <laughs> <laughs> and um, you want to walk us through the 
the room. Uh, yeah. So one of our biggest concerns was the exposed wiring. So what we've done is we've just cladded it up and covered the wires and then siliconed it in. Um, then another one of our concerns was her rolling out of bed of a night time. So we've put the mesh up again this time just to keep her in there. It's not really a cage anymore. She's getting to the age where she'll do what she's told, hopefully, eh? It's only to stop her from rolling out. And as you can see, pink is Kate's favorite color. <laughs> so it's a, a very pink room. Isn't it, darling? Do you like it? Yeah? yeah. You like it? Tumpy there? Yeah. And that's the finished product. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons and we hope to see you again next week.